everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Romney and I make fashion and aesthetic videos today we're going to be talking about a capsule wardrobe um, now if you don't know what that is that is basically having a set amount of clothes that all pretty much go together and that you can style in multiple different ways so a lot of this will consist of just good basics so I have put together a set of clothing that will work for the dark academia aesthetic um now personally i don't have a capsule wardrobe obviously i make fashion content this is my job so i'm not gonna only have 15 items of clothing as much as that sounds so easy and simplistic um but i do love the idea of it and i love taking inspo from it and the fact that i like to buy my clothes and think about them and how they're going to fit into my wardrobe i think being mindful about this stuff is very important so that is kind of why i'm filming this video today just to give inspo on how to style and rework multiple different items of clothing but before we get started with all of that today's video is sponsored by one of my favorite brands ever book of the month book of the month is an online subscription-based service for all kinds of readers the way it works is you pick out a different book to read every month they make it easy for you by already curating a selection of new books from new and emerging authors, and all you have to do is pick your favorite every month. It takes the stress out of trying to figure out what book you want to read next so you can spend more time reading rather than trying to find the perfect book on your own. It can really help you explore different genres outside of your comfort zone and discover new and emerging authors as well. My current read is How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by K.M. Jackson. This book is a fun love story with a very unique presence, as you can see from the title. This is one of those that I wouldn't normally gravitate to, but I ended up loving it. The other books you can choose from from this month's selection are A Little Hope by Ethan Joella, The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker, The Collective by Allison Galen, and The Family by Naomi Krupitsky. You can also choose from special add-ons. This month I got Will by Will Smith and Mark Manson and Emily Ratajkowski, My Body. So if you're interested in this service, you can use code COZY to get your first book for just $9.99. This is a monthly subscription, but you can cancel anytime you want or just skip a month and come back if you want to. Also, if you are interested in book of the month, you can follow the link in my bio to look for your next read. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video and for also providing my entertainment for the month of November. Now let's get back into the video. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I love the idea of a capsule wardrobe because it can help you being mindful while purchasing clothing. Um, even if you're like a min minimalist and you don't just want to have 15 items of clothes, a mindset like this can still help you with not over consuming and just being mindful of when you buy your clothes, are they actually fitting into your wardrobe? So I have to, uh, put together 15 items today, and so this is kind of like the bare minimum. Um, I have four tops, three bottoms, two like jackets, four, three, two, nine, wait. Oh, and one dress. So that's only 10 pairs of clothes, and then I have five accessories. So, like I said, kind of just like the bare minimum today. So, for tops, uh, what I love about my selection of tops is that they all go together. Like, seriously, all of them could be layered on top of each other and it would work. So, first, let's start with a good base. A beige turtleneck. You could also go with a black turtleneck, of course, or any neutral colored turtleneck. Also, I like how the theme of today's video is like neutrals and like clothing that goes together and I'm wearing a bright red <laughs> turtleneck. Um, because i literally just got this in the mail like 10 minutes ago and i was so excited to wear it and i look like i'm going to the holiday christmas office party but whatever so first a good basic turtleneck these are great to wear on their own or you could literally wear this under anything for instance i have a v-neck cable knit sweater this is in a navy blue you could easily wear that over the turtleneck for like a really cute layering moment or you could layer the white button up on top of that turtleneck as well or the other option i have is a vest which you can put the vest over the turtleneck also so you really have multiple different options and then same thing with the white collared shirt you can wear it on its own or you can put the 
cable knit sweater over the collared shirt or you can layer the uh, sweater the the vest over the turtleneck as well now if you want to do like a sweater vest instead of just a regular vest you could also do that I just like the regular vest more because it's typically not as hot where I live but if you live in a really cold place I would recommend getting a sweater vest instead for this um, but yeah kind of like I was saying like everything can go with each other and be layered on top of each other so basically we only have four tops here but you can make so many different outfits out of these four tops by layering them and just experimenting with different ways you can wear these items. For bottoms, I only did three of these. Um, when I was putting together the clothes for this video, my main thing was like, okay, I need to think about the items of clothing that I wear the absolute most and definitely want to put those in. Um, so the first one is actually the skirt that I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see it, but it is just a basic black skirt. Nothing special. There's no pleats or anything, no design on it. It's just a basic black skirt. Uh, I think I got this one from Princess Polly. Uh, it's a mini skirt, so I do like to wear tights underneath it, especially in the fall and winter time. Um, but I just think it's super cute and literally goes with everything in my wardrobe. Um, the other one I have is a basic plaid mini skirt. Um, I love this one because the plaid isn't too, um, what's the, I was gonna say plaidy, no, the plaid isn't too bold, so it can go together with a lot of different things. And also, it's just like a really flattering cut. It's like a slight A-line, but like not too poofy, and it just it just flows well in an outfit. And I like that it's brown. That's like one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, this one's also from Princess Polly. The pants I have are also from Princess Polly, which is weird. I did not do that on purpose. But the pants are my favorite pair of pants I have ever owned in my entire life because they are so comfortable i think everyone needs a pair of trousers in their life and i just love them so much they are super high-waisted that is like a must-have for me when purchasing a pair of pants and they have really deep pockets so you can fit a lot of stuff in there they have like little pleats in the front and they're just like i, I could sleep in these if i wanted to like they're like pajama pants basically but they look super put together and amazing the good thing about all of these bottoms is that they can be worn with every single one of the tops that I chose as well. So you could definitely do with these trousers with the button-up shirt. You could do it with the turtleneck or you could do it with the sweater. And same thing goes for the mini skirts as well. They can go with each, with each of those tops. So I kind of just love the versatility there and how many different outfits can be made with just the tops and just the bottoms so i only picked out one dress for this capsule wardrobe um because i feel like you can get the same like girly effect with one of the tops and one of the skirts and you kind of have more options of like mixing and matching whereas with just a dress it's like it's pretty much all you have i mean you could put like a sweater over the dress and like make it kind of like a more comfy casual look but basically the one i chose is this black square neck puff sleeve dress um this i got from h&m like two years ago and it is one of my most worn dresses it's always my go-to when i kind of have to dress up for something but i just i don't know what to wear and this is my go-to when i just want to feel good and confident and basically just a plain little black dress but it has all my favorite things which is a square neckline which I think looks super flattering on everyone um, and a little bit of a puff sleeve as well and it's an a-line silhouette so I love a little black dress you can also do if you prefer like a white or beige or a brown dress like this or a dress maybe with a collar would be cute because you could do like the sweater over with like the collar peeking through yeah, but I just really like this one. I think it's like a super like girly silhouette, but it also goes good with the dark academia aesthetic. And you can find black puff sleeve dresses a lot of different places nowadays. Yeah, definitely recommend finding your favorite little black dress. Now this doesn't have to be like the stereotypical like body con sexy little black dress. This can be however you like it. For me, I like a puff sleeve and an A-line and a square neck and I'm good to go. So since this is kind of like a fall time capsule wardrobe, I did include two or one jacket and one coat. So the jacket I wanted to do is just a basic black blazer. I think this is kind of a must have for basically any wardrobe. Um, it looks super sleek and put together and this is nice for people if you live like in the south like me. Um, 
barely gets cold here so having a kind of a lightweight jacket option is really good and you can still have fun with layering without having to like put too much stuff on because it really barely ever gets that cold this blazer could pretty much go with any of the skirts and any of the tops and it could even go over on top of the dress as well so we love that you could also do a plaid blazer um i do have a plaid blazer but it's a little bit too small for me so i wanted to do like the most like flattering and comfortable option so i chose my black blazer the coat i chose is just one of my favorite coats because it is so cozy and so comfortable which is this like it's kind of like a teddy coat but like a trench coat version of that uh, I got this from H&M like two years ago and I still wear it all the time. It is my go-to coat for the fall and winter time um, when it is actually cold because I feel like there's no in-between. Like it's either like blazer jacket weather or it's like teddy trench coat jacket weather. Like, But anyways, so I think this is just a good option, a neutral jacket that you can throw over anything. Um, you could do a black trench coat. You could do any other color neutral if you wanted to and it would still work just depends on what your favorite is or what you happen to already have in your closet um again i just really like this one because of the cozy factor lately comfort for me is like the most important thing so yeah i also just like trench coats because i feel like you can just put them on and like if you button it up and zip it up all the way then it just it's like a whole new outfit so yeah so that's basically all of the clothing items and the last five items are just accessories which are a great way to obviously switch up a look if you wanted to so i only did one pair of shoes um which are my platform mary janes these are my most worn pair of shoes ever if i had to wear one pair of shoes for the rest of my life it would definitely be these ones um another kind of shoe you could wear that's like this if you don't like mary jane's would be loafers or like oxford shoes or any kind of doc doc martens um would also be good for this capsule wardrobe but again i just picked my favorite and my most comfortable so again these can be paired with literally everything you could wear it with a dress you could wear it with the skirts you could wear it with the jackets the tops and it will go so yeah the other accessory is i'm wearing them right now so i can't show you i'll show you it in the video but it is tights just plain black tights i really like the ones that are a little bit sheer obviously this helps in the fall and winter when it's a little bit colder outside but you still want to wear skirts um i mean i know a lot of people that live in the north like they still would not be able to wear that so i'm mostly talking to people in the south when it gets a little bit cold and we want a little something extra but I understand if you live up in the north you're gonna have to wear like a bunch of different layers um but i have seen the hack where people wear like one pair of like really warm like knit tights and then they put another pair of sheer tights over and like it kind of helps with the illusion of looking cute but also having more warmth so if you ever tried that and you live in the north let me know if that actually works um i wouldn't know because it never really gets that cold to need to do that the other accessories i chose are a black handbag this could be a shoulder bag or a crossbody or anything i just chose a vintage leather bag because it basically goes with everything i also really like matching my accessories so if i'm wearing a black pair of shoes a uh, and a black bag it kind of automatically pulls the outfit together and the other bag i chose is a basic canvas bag i just think canvas bags are like the most elite thing to carry your items in um this is one that i got from a little apple orchard in indiana and i feel like a canvas bag automatically makes an outfit look a little bit more dressed down if you want to look a little bit more casual and cool and i don't know anytime i see a person wearing a canvas bag on the street i'm like this is a safe person like this is someone i could vibe with um, the last accessory I have is a beret. Um, this can be black, brown, whatever neutral color you like the best. I just like the black because it goes with the black bag, goes with the black shoes. If all the accessories match, then the outfit will match. So I just think a beret, if you just pop on a beret with any outfit, it automatically makes it look more chic and like fashionable, I guess, if that's what you're going for. So I always like to have that for an option. So one of my goals with like my YouTube channel and Instagram and everything is 
to be able to style like really basic pieces multiple different ways hopefully to inspire people to maybe just rework your wardrobe and incorporate different ways to style things so that you don't feel like you have to buy new things all the time um i feel like when i first like got into like internet fashion world i really felt like i was behind and needed to just like buy a bunch of stuff just to be able to keep up but usually that's not the case like a lot of these things that i am showing you today is stuff that i've had for like two years and they still end up being my most worn items because there's so many different ways you can wear them and they're also just like the most comfortable so i naturally gravitate towards those also side note i'm going to be traveling in november for about a week so this is also good if you are going on a trip but you don't want to bring in too many clothes but you still want to be able to make multiple different outfits um i remember best dress made a video like last year like two years ago or something about a capsule wardrobe she had for like a full month on a trip and I'm so I'm kind of like, I think that was like the first time I ever actually heard about capsule wardrobes. So I'm definitely going to take these clothes on my trip in November to kind of like test out this mini capsule wardrobe theory. Um, but yeah, I hope this gave you guys inspo. I hope maybe you already have some of these in your wardrobe that kind of give you some more inspo on how to style them and rework them in your closet. Um, so yeah, I hope... I am giving what I want to give and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. Um, thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Remember you can follow the link in my bio if you are interested in that. Um, if you do get one of those make sure to let me know which book you end up getting. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get post notifications. That's like super important and i really appreciate that and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know what videos you want to see from me next especially coming into the winter months any holiday videos you want to see let me know but i will see you guys in my next video bye